evening. And Adam, welcome. It's good to have you here. And you're very welcome on the raid from earlier. I'm glad I could help you out some. I'm sorry I couldn't stick around too long, but after five hours of running fairly stressed little XCOM missions, I had to get up and move around. I hope you are doing well today. Oh. So today is day 37 for Animal Crossing. God, I can't believe I'm getting close to 40 days of streaming every day. It's kind of crazy when I think about it, but I'm thrilled about it also. So, we've got the museum renovations open, which means we get to check out the new art gallery today. Um, and we obviously have all of yesterday's fossils to ID, plus whatever ones we find today. And I'm a stoop, and I forgot to... Turn my ringer off again. Not really. I had to reload many times in missions. Welcome to XCOM. <laughs> I try hard not to do it too much, but the mission I was doing today, God. You know enough of XCOM to understand this. Imagine a mission with 30 ethereals, all more powerful than the ones you normally fight in the regular game, significantly so, and six sectopods. I'll let your imagination do the rest while we transition over to Animal Crossing. Gurgumplex, welcome! I hope I pronounce your name right whenever you show up. It's one of those I'm never 100% sure if I'm getting it right. <laughs> Gerg works, or Greg, if you have letter issues. <laughs> I'll do Gerg. How are you today? You look good with your Jogurt helmet. <laughs> Pardon me. So I did break the rules a little bit and logged in briefly this morning before X comes, so I could actually meet Daisy May for the first time and buy turnips. But the rest is still to be done. Let's see how he did. KK, sending you the song I sang for you at my show the other day. I hope life in Joker Town is treating you right. Tired and working on school stuff, as always. Sounds about right. Happy Oat Academy, 86,386 points, rank S. The 70,000 points milestone is something to remember. Congrats. Please accept a small token of our appreciation and admiration. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Bronze Heavy Home Academy Trophy. And KK Kespa. At the end of my stream today, three huge ships and two small appeared at the same time. I had no idea which I have to take down first, but I had to leave the big one because I had no weapons with magic. Yep. Was it a large or was it a very large? Let's see here. Take that off the top there. We'll put the trophy up there. Looks good there. So, very large. Uh, that was probably an infiltration set. That was one of two things, Adam. That was either infiltration, and you're probably going to lose the country that happened in, or it was base building, and you're going to have an alien base there within the month. Yeah, large, large, that was, there was a terror ship then. Those are nasty also. But if it was a very large, if there was a very large, thought the game was kidding me. Nope. If there was a very large, then you either had a uh, infiltration mission or a base building mission. And you're going to have uh, either a base or you're going to lose a country.
Okay, let's put KK Caspa into the radio. And put some of this stuff in storage. But I quit the stream before I make the next terror mission. Yeah, terror missions are no fun. And some of the shit I get nowadays... Woo! Is that a recipe I already know? No, oh, I just bought it and never learned it. Tells you how tired I was last time. Okay. Especially night terror missions suck. Yup. And unlike a shot down UFO, you can't wait for day. With all the mods I play with, some of the terror missions you get are kind of crazy. There was one I had that was literally about a dozen and a half chrysalids. Yay, all my other flowers grew in. Is that a tiger butterfly or a... Yeah, that's a tiger butterfly. I don't care about that. Okay. Weed. None allowed. I had no idea there are mods for old XCOM parts. Oh, yeah. Uh, the one I'm playing right now is called XCOM Files, and it's pretty incredible. They're very complex and have a lot to them. I've been working on this one run. This was week 40. I'm finally two missions away from finished. Well, you can catch archives. Now, XCOM Files is a little late, but you can catch archives on my YouTube. And you are also welcome to join my Discord. Where I post whenever I'm going live with whatever I'm streaming. By the way, Gerg, I added something you might find particularly fun. Get. Really quick, since I saw Miss B come online, you shoot her a message really quick. Everybody's online. Yeah. 
Ooh, that looks like an aggro spat butterfly. Nah, it's a tiger. Hey, Marcy. Don't do that. You gotta eat. Hey, it's red. Sweet, so we can go visit Crazy Red now. Are the mods compatible with the VOG? Um, they are, but you have to set up uh, Open XCOM Extended. Which, honestly, you should run Open XCOM anyway, because it just makes the game run much better on modern computers. Hey, Hopper. But yeah, the, uh, yep. Open XCOM fixes some of the bugs that are in the game. It adds some extra options, like being able to, uh, show how many time units each step takes. One second, guys. Yeah, I mean, if you look at my stream, you'll see what it looks like running under Open XCOM, and you'll see what I mean. It adds a lot of quality of life improvements, also. It's all just running smoother and better. I remember me on the hex editor things on my childhood. <laughs> you want to get built making yourself a kettlebell? Absolutely. I think 90% have tried this. Actually, if I re I try, I don't do it. But if you go into uh, open, you can actually go right into your uh, save file with Open XCOM, and it's literally just there in number form. All I have to do is open it with any old text editor. Just a second, I'm gonna jump on my phone for a second after I dig up this fossil. Cause I'm not sure she saw that message. I wanna ask her if she wants to visit.
Okay, going to the museum is gonna wait a little bit. Got two more fossils to find. But yeah, just about everybody's tried that, Adam. <laughs> I get a present from Sable? That was the most awesome thing. Okay, back to the fossil hunt. Sorry, but I had to leave. I waited for another stream. Hope you have a chill stream today, and thanks for all the information. My pleasure, dude. Like I said, feel free to hit me up on Discord. Uh, be happy to help you with anything for setting up mods. And welcome. It's good to have you, man. Take care, dude. My good butterflies. Tony Uncle Al, welcome. Good to see you, my dude. How's your day going, friend? A good butterfly. Wow, two fossils literally right next to each other. Okay, just chilling. Know that feeling, man. That's what this stream is for me right now. Oh, shoot. Okay, so eight fossils it is. Now... To be brave.
In to see one crazy red. Closer look. There's my phone. Crazy red fake. Hard to tell. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the fake. Okay, this was the wistful painting. Okay, that's fake. Okay, this was the gallant statue. The fake is carrying the book. Look. The fake statue is leaning on a shovel. So that is fake. So wait, you're supposed to have one that's not fake every day. So I guess... Okay, 
This one was hard to tell. This must be the real one. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Okay, we got eight fossils to get appraised. Nin, welcome. Good evening. I just spent some time with Crazy Red trying to tell if paintings and statues were fake or not. I think I got the right one. Bill, it's a little early to be falling asleep. <laughs> then BAM! Awake like a fox! <laughs> How's your evening going, Nin? I hope you're doing well yourself. Hey, Nin, pop up the uh, new soundboard for Tony to check out. I'm gonna go out and open the gate. There's a couple potential visitors. I figured you'd appreciate that, Tony. Now, they do have an individual cooldown of one minute, so you have to wait a little bit before you... Uh... ...can do another one, but feel free to check them out whenever you want to. Museum's got a fresh coat of paint. Yeah, I'm going to do something to do. 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 I'm going to
It says fossils. And we'll go check out the new art gallery. Not that there's much in there yet, but. RX's favorite is Wild Gunman. There we go. Let's take a look, see. There's the painting we got so far. A jolly painting. Summer by Giuseppe Archimboldo, circa 1563. Oil on canvas. Curious portrait by Giuseppe Archimboldo, an Italian painter from the late 16th century. It doesn't take a particularly sharp eye to see that the entire portrait is composed of fresh produce. It's actually really cool. It's going to take a while to fill this out. <laughs> Man, there's quite a bit. So how has your weekend been, Tony? Hope you're doing well. to sell. buy that. Okay, so who haven't I spoken to yet today? Now before we go much further, let's go back up to the garden. We gotta go water all our flowers.
So, of course, now my water can breaks. Time to go make a new one. Oh, my hibiscus flew in. Grew in. Yay. Good old Mario Bros. Yes, it is. Okay, back to the garden. Water all my flowers. Wonder what hyacinth growing in there. Hy not hyacinth. Hyacinth is growing in there. Looks like it might just be a yellow. There we go. Yay, peacock butterfly. There's another one. Hey, my butterflies are finally showing up. Yeah, I was just a tiger, but. At this rate, I might need to transform in another garden area.
I'm gonna peacock butterfly. Yay! Okay, so all my flowers are watered. And I've caught three peacock butterflies now. We still have to find our, our DIY bottle recipe. Let's look for that next. And I think we can also safely pay off another $50,000 on our house. 50,000 bells. Hey, Marcy. Hey, it's Big Top. Mine said so many bugs, which is cool. There's my bottle. I thought of this DIY recipe while I was letting loose during dance practice. I put it in this bottle, so def have check out my masterpiece. You have to make it. A wooden block wall clock. I will happily make that, actually. There's Bob. Think about what to do, and I almost had an idea. Almost. <laughs> Maybe I'll donate something from my crayon period. I love Bob. Yeah, I think we've talked to everybody now except for Pee Wee. Who is not home. He may be in the museum. Paper kite butterfly. Gotcha. Do I read it, fly it, or spread it on toast? No orchid mantis. Well, let's go check the museum and see if we cannot find Mr. Pee Wee. Just feeling pom pom again.
Ebony. Five hundred thousand to go. Still three star, huh? to the search for Pee Wee. Here. It seems like usually when I find someone in the museum, they're in fossil exhibit. Here he is. Now we've talked to everybody. Butterfly. Another, no, it's just a common. Tiger. Quick, what are the hours for the butterflies? So about now. We are past butterfly clock. In fact, some of these end even earlier. We're coming up on moth o'clock. We're still missing a couple butterflies. And our pastime for Orchid Mantis. Jewel beetles are all day, though. And it's almost tarantula o'clock. Quick mind, welcome! 
Good to see you as always, my friend. You gotta see how much the garden shaped up. Look at all the flowers! All the flowers! I call it a long locust, or as I call it, a locust. No, that was a jewel beetle. Damn it. And broom hatter. I'm gonna go look at our main fossil room. Your streams did look really good, Quick Mind. God, I can't get over how amazing the freaking museum is in this one. I mean, how cool is that? I had a minor scare with the video card as the fans weren't running, but it turned out it's a feature to get zero decibels. So, quick mind, after you've played it for a while, what are your thoughts on Chimera Squad? I have to say, I'm very impressed. I bought it, I just haven't started it yet. I might try to start it before I go back to work. Tomorrow we're only going to stream in the morning. And I do want to get at least one Shining Force stream in while I'm on break. Guys, can you believe we are closing in on 40 days soon of streaming every day? Granted, some of them have only been about an hour long, but... God, that was loud enough you guys could probably hear that. Look at all the pretty butterflies. I love how now that it's nighttime, most of them have kind of come to a rest. Anyway, for anyone who's hanging out, my gate is open if you want to come visit. And I'm hanging out in my Discord voice chat. So any of you are more than welcome to join me. Hey, 
Hey, Phil singing. I got a tadpole, just tad small. That's another citrus longhorn. That it's a little late, but that looked like a oh tiger. Fish. Look at my line. There we go. <laughs> Yay, Bob and I are going to be snack buddies forever and ever. Sea bass. Craft fencing for beautiful gardens. Let's actually go ahead and do that. The noisy vehicles going by today. What do I need for Imperial Fest? Wood and softwood. So, Nin, when do you want to do that co op randomizer?
You say that like I'm kidding, dude. Come on. If we work together, it won't be too bad. do a basic seed so you wouldn't have to do any advanced stuff like fake flippers or running dark rooms. Okay, I think we're going to expand the garden over here. Oh no, I didn't know you were having computer problems. Maybe we'll put a ramp here, take down these trees, cut this back in a little bit. Probably take out that tree too. And then have a smaller extension of the garden here. Yeah, let's do it. I need an axe. I need to clean up my inventory. Sorry to hear that, dude. Hopefully you get it figured out quickly. Until then, you can at least hang out with your buddy Mackenzie. I need an axe. Okay, so we're gonna do this little area here. And then we'll have a path through here. Okay, start with the net out.
That is odd and in. CBU Geek, welcome. Doing well. Yourself? Well, the gate's open. I don't think I can do this right now. Yep. Just rage quit and I link to the past randomizer seed. Ooh, that's never fun. What happened? Just get some bad placement, or...? Forgot compass chest and swamp palace and proceeded to full clear the rest of the game looking for titans. Ugh, I've been there. I have totally been there. Including full, full clearing pot, Eastern Palace, and Terra. Been there. One time I forgot uh, Desert Ledge. And of course, that ended up being my Ice Rod. Spent over an hour looking. Just could not seem to remember that ledge. Good to see so many people hanging out tonight. Welcome, everybody. What really steams me is I miscounted the number of items in Swamp. Ooh, that's... That's a huge shadow, Okay, I think. This might be a real fish. No. Damn. What really steams me is I miscounted the number of items in Swamp. That's very easy to do. But then again... I've never been really good enough to... Keep to remember how many items there are versus how many keys and dungeon stuff. So I contacted Comcast a while after my stream. What happened, Quick Mind? What'd they say? I was using the map tracker to help. I'm not good enough to hold that in my head yet. Gotcha. Told him about the issue with my upload going bad around the same time every Sunday. They say anything? Any idea what might be causing it? Damn it. 
Virgin told me that they logged it and they would have to contact them the next time it happened. Sounds about right. Yeah, I can't blame you on the rage. I can't say much. I'm with Spectrum and mine's not much better. <clears throat> Can... I haven't told them about the note in my area that they discovered last fall. an old tire. I'm so tired of that. <laughs> That's pretty good. I've been having some random minor frame drops myself. Like most, I used to always go through my uh, streams and I'd never have frame drops. I mean, I still had connection issues, but I never just had little hiccups like I've been having lately. Like right now, it's showing me I've had just shy of 2,000 dropped frames during the stream. Which I'll say, you know, in an hour and a half, it's not a lot. But it's never happened before. There we go. There's some money. Bard knife jaw. Fortunately for me, whatever the, uh, connection issues I was having where I kept disconnecting all the time seems to have resolved itself. I haven't had that problem for a while. Knock, knock. Mackerel. The only one supposedly fixed the node back in no last November, and it was working well until about a month ago. I caught a red snapper. It looks pretty dapper. Five more. Balloon! What 
you got for me, Mr. Balloon Man? That is a down skirt. Hey, surgeon fish! Scalpel, forceps, fish hook. Hey CPU Geek, I've added something kind of fun lately that you might enjoy. Oh, shit, he did see it. Well, sometimes you can cast the line like right next to their head. And other times, you throw it foot and a half away and they still see it. <laughs> Beat you to that one, then. No worries, Nin. See here, I throw one like this earlier and the fish sees it. And you're worthless. Let's go sell some fish. thousand of that was two fish. Let's go up here and lay out some more
I want to cut the film with this back to about here, I think. need a gap. Be about as far as we need to go there. I'm going to use the tool. We'll draw this out a bit to about here so that the ramp can just run right alongside this cliff. two dirt path squares there leading into that garden. So the space is laid out now. feel. Well, but then it'll be more open when that's gone. We're going to cut straight through here. I'll deal with fence back there later. That gives us another decent sized little area. second here. And what we'll do is we'll move. I don't know, maybe I'll move the roses down there. I think I want to build. Did you 
Go talk to Mr. Nook. I got a carp. If I touch another, they can carp pool. Fishing rod, no! You know what? There's no point in doing that yet until I get the landscaping done. Try our luck with some more fish, see if we can get something good. This is either a carp or a koi. Customize items, sell a hot item for a fortune, talk to your neighbors, catch a jewel beetle, and grow fruit trees. Probably a crawdad, but pom pom. Thank you. 
Okay, let's see what I need for that uh, wood block clock wall clock we've got. The recipe for. Because that'll actually go well in my main room. Wooden block toy, soft wood, and iron nugget. And that wooden block toy is... Okay, we can make it right now. Do you need to get my customized kits? Tiger Beetle. Okay, get into storage. Block toy. And from that, I can make the wooden block wall clock. Now let's customize it to match our decor. curious what this other piece is and what I can do to that. The table setting. Ooh. Oh, I could change the color of the placemat.
Down the soup kettle. Mm. Okie dokie. forgot to do. Damn it. Say hi one more time to Mr. Bob. Gotcha. Okay, so I think we're about set here. I'm <laughs> 
I think I'm gonna do. I think I'll make this will make me feel a little happier about the look. <clears throat> Let's square this out. That's better. I don't know much about art per se, but I know a lot about pretending to know a lot about art. <laughs> This game just makes me laugh. I think you appreciate that one too, Quick Mind. Jewel Beetle. Nice and easy. Next, I want to go back to the Able Sisters. I want to buy that dress for me to give to Celida.
You know what I need to do? We need to make him a proper bed. Let's do that really quick. more wood. Do I really not have any? There we go. I need to start hitting some trees. I'm almost out of wood. No problem, quick mind. Okay, let's go give Cody his new bed. That way he can stop sleeping in a sleeping bag. That's very muscular of you. That's very muscular of you. Close the gate. <laughs> now the gate's closed, we can do some terraforming. Do, 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 do. 
Okay. Into the island designer. Just, uh... I've seen that, dude. That guy's crazy. Okay, so I did go further than I need to with the fence in this direction. There we go. Now we go talk to the nook. <clears throat> hey, quick mind. I was watching a little uh, DS9 today. I'd forgotten how fun the baseball episode was. <laughs> oh, we didn't do the ceremony. <laughs> I 
I love when they're all just like, hey, batter, 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 hey, batter, 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 death to the enemy! Blathers, if you would, just, um, a word or two? <laughs> <laughs> Poor bladders with the bugs. <laughs> Thank you, Blathers, for those many, many, many words of wisdom. <laughs> Next, a few words from someone whose valuable contributions make this remodel possible. I remember the episode where there was an assassin using projectiles to kill people. They ended up discovering that the weapon was banned and super rare because it transported the bullet as soon as it left the barrel and the gun could see through walls and stuff to aim. Yeah, that was a cool idea. Yeah, that was a really cool idea, Quick Mind. Oh, Isabel's falling asleep at her desk. Look at Isabel falling asleep at her desk. Poor thing. Do, do. 
That looks perfect. Okie dokie. Time to wrap it up. <sighs> you know, it is only quarter to eight. I think we're going to go ahead and call it a night. It's been five hours this morning and now two hours tonight. I'm feeling pretty wiped. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out as always. Nin, my pleasure. Thank you for hanging out tonight. Let's see who is on. I can throw you all to. Tony, Cadenza. Let's go hang out with Sword Mouse. He's got marbles up and running tonight. And I haven't gone to hit him up for a while. Quick mind, thanks for hanging out. Sword Mouse is another really cool streamer I like hanging out with. He's full variety. He plays some newer stuff. He plays some older stuff. Uh, really good about interacting with his chat, despite the fact that he pulls in a larger stream. So once we get to Sword Mouse's channel, please spam your Jogurt emotes if you have them. If you don't have them, just announce the arrival of the Jogurt Army. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out tonight. I hope you had fun. Uh, we'll be back in the morning for our Animal Crossing. Uh, probably no evening stream tomorrow. Depending on what goes on, I might be going out for a little bit. Um, but thanks, everybody, for today, and we'll see you all tomorrow morning. Take care.